this season, Lori Hernandez is the clear favorite to win on the dance floor. The question is, is as I know, uh, and some know, that it's not about the best dancer, right? The show is about a journey. The show is about improvement, um, its personality. Um, there's a lot of manipulating that you're doing going on and how you manipulate the, the, the producers and what weeks you do what dances and, you know, are you doing your best dances early? Are you saving some of them for late? There's a lot that goes into pulling out a win on the show versus being the best. Uh, there's a couple that could challenge her, um, you know, uh, uh, but, I, but I still feel that, that ultimately... She is by far the, the best dancer. And plus, she's got the personality, too. She does have personality, so that does help her. But the fact that she's 16 is a negative on that show. Really? Well, if you think about the audience that's watching the show, right, like Marilu Henna has a great chance because that's the audience watching the show. People who watched her in her career are sitting at home going, I just love her. And all it, all it takes is for them to go one week, oh, my God, at near the end. I, you know what? I just, the fact that she's out there and she's in her 60s and she's doing it, that girl gets my vote. She might not have been the best, but she gets their vote. And what, what I've noticed through the years is that not very often do young contestants win because that's not the audience voting. And the, the, what people don't understand is that, yes, the judges vote, but that's only 50% of the score. The other 50% the is the audience. And I'm not going to go into online, like, you know, putting out there the exact how it all works. But ultimately, it's not as specific as you would think. I learned, because I'm a little cray-cray, right? <laughs> I admit it. I'm good with it. Um, but I'm, like, I want to know specifics, right? So... When, when I came on the show, I told other people the rules, like my partner, like other people's partners. I was like, yes, so the rules state that da 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 And they'd be like, how do you know that? I'm like, because I read it. <laughs> I studied it. Like, I studied the rules. I read my contract. I read, I read everything to understand. And they were like, I was like, all right, so you know week five is you know, switch up week. And, and they're like, how do you know this already? I was like, AK gave it to you. <laughs> because you didn't read it doesn't make me smart. But it does. No, it just makes you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you reading it, like, like I always used to say to people when I was younger, I was like, doing your homework doesn't make you good. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do your homework. You're not like special when you like, oh, I listened in class today. <laughs> you're supposed to listen. So I, I actually learned all the rules. I learned how the scoring went, you know, because to me, it's like, you know, it's a reality show, right? So like, would you go on to a survivor and not have a strategy? right? You got to have a strategy on how to do it. So I would go in there. I went in there with a full strategy. All right, so this week I'm going to do this, and then this week I want to do this, and that week, and we're going to save some of these dances for the end. And, and so I had a full strategy for the entire time. Um, and you have to go in with that kind of thinking. So understanding the audience and understanding who votes and understanding how to, I wouldn't say manipulate, but certainly attract those voters to you is, is a really important part of the show. And, and I don't know whether at 16, Lori will be able to do that. 